Hello, and welcome to Education by Spencer. I'm your host, Reggie Spencer, and today we'll be introducing sixth graders to ordering a set of rational numbers arising from mathematical concepts by generating equivalent forms of fractions, decimals, and percents. Okay, sixth graders will have to be able to recognize fractions, decimals, and percentages based off of concrete and pictorial models. So let's look at a couple of them. If we look at the first one, it is a square block with four different sections and three are shaded. This is where we come back and we do parts and holes. So we have a hole of four and we have three parts shaded. This would represent three over four. Same goes for the, the circle. There are three shaded, three shaded triangles and there are four, uh, four total parts. So when we look at this, this is how we determine it. And also you can even tell, they might even give you a picture of four fish with three shaded. This represents three fourths. Now let's look at one third. There are three total sections. So we have a whole of three and there is only one part shaded. Therefore, we have one third. One third is represented as 0.33 as a decimal and is represented as 33.3%. Three fifths. If we look at the picture, we can see that we have five totals, total sections and three are shaded in. The shaded part represents our numerator and the total number represents our denominator. We're dealing with a part and a whole when we look at these pictorials and these concrete models. Now we have to convert that into a decimal so 3 over 5 would convert into 0.6 as a decimal and would also represent 60%. One eighth. If we look at one eighth or we look at the diagram, our concrete models show eight total sections in both diagrams, the square and the circle. Only one section is shaded. That would represent one over eight. When we convert one over eight to a decimal, we end up with 1.25. And when we convert that into a percentage, we end up with 12.5%. Three tenths. If we look at the diagram, we see that we have 10 total sections. This represents our denominator. The whole always represents the denominator. And we have three shaded parts. Those parts will represent your numerator. We still set it up with parts over, over whole, numerator over denominator. And when we convert this, we would end up with 0.3 as a decimal or 30% if we convert into a percentage. Now when we look at concrete pictorials and models using a 10 by 10 grid, we have to remember that percent means out of 100. A percentage is another way of expressing a fra fractional quantity. Here are some grids split into 100 parts. If we notice that we have half of a grid uh, shaded in. This represents 50 out of 100. 50% 50 are shaded. This is one half. The next one we notice we have 25 out of 100. 25% are shaded. This is 25 over 100 which equals or can be simplified to one fourth. And last we have 10 out of 100. 10% are shaded. This represents 10 over 100 or simplified as 1 over 10. When solving problems given a 10 by 10 grid and we want to write the percent model by each grid, we must remember that it's parts over whole or shaded over total. And this would equal 32 over 100 over 100 for question A. 
32 over 100 will represent 32% is shaded. Now, when we look at the other grid, we have 66 shaded over 100. This would represent 